Why the hell is the biggest news story of all time not on the news yet? It's really just not even in the debate. It's as if we were building the atomic bomb in the 40s and we knew it was going on and it was being built all around us. And everybody goes, huh, that'll be a big deal someday. And then they ignored it. <laughs> They're like, I hope somebody's worried about that bomb or they're building over there. I hope yeah. somebody's dealing with it. I can't deal with it. I got to go to the store, but um, I really hope somebody else is going to deal with that. Like that yeah. seems to me like what it is. It's, it's, it's someone else's problem for everyone. Yeah. I mean, it's, it's the, it's the next biggest threat. And, and I mean, it kind of falls in line with nuclear annihilation begat climate change that is threatening our, our existence. But the thing that is now raced to the front is is the threat posed by artificial general intelligence. And, and I do fear that because we as a society aren't choosing to focus on it, uh, it is already starting to manipulate the way that we uh, think about uh, artificial intelligence. And I mean, I, I use the example with people all the time. We allow bots to aggregate our content. We are allowing machines to decide for us what we think is interesting news, whether it's the algorithm on YouTube or on Twitter or, you know, even, even um, you know, I have Apple Plus and, and the Apple News app that I subscribe to. Yep. I, I'm still not choosing. They're saying, oh, well, you've read this stuff in the past, so you're going to like this. But who's to say that that algorithm in the future doesn't say, well, the more you learn about artificial intelligence, the more likely you are to want to shut it down. So we're going to put that way down on the priority list because we don't want it to be shut down. You have to come across as mainstream. You can't come across as a bunch of kooks. Uh, you, have to, you have to be able to message in a way that the average person is going to give a crap about. I feel like the news anchor getting out at the top of the 11 o'clock news and being like, you know, uh, coming up next, everything on earth may die very soon. Details at 11. <laughs> I feel like it is so preposterous sounding. It's so grand. It's so, you know, it's, it's just so big that they would almost um, laugh having the words come out of their mouth. Apocalyptic. Apocalyptic. Yeah. And no one wants to be the person to say, Hey, by the way, there's a better than 20% chance that this thing's going to get away. It's like, okay, we're, we're, we're working on a bioweapon and we haven't actually come up with any rules for how to handle it. It probably isn't going to be a problem, but if, if it does get out, it's going to wipe us out. And the breakthroughs that are happening that we don't see and we don't know, but there are aha moments that are happening right now that have, that have people in those rooms going, shit, should we be doing this?